A year ago, some Russian astronomers found a signal coming from the direction of a star about 95 light years away, that's what, 600 trillion miles or thereabouts, uh, that looked like it might be really a transmission from ET, maybe that's worth following up. So that's what we've been busy with for the, in the past couple of days, actually. Picking up a signal is not an unusual thing. But this one was found by some Russian astronomers who are very competent. They found it in the direction of a star system that was intrinsically interesting because it was known to have a planet. So, of course, we're going to follow up on a signal like that. Could it be an extraterrestrial ping? Are they trying to get in touch for some reason? Well, I mean, you can't rule that out. But it was only seen once. The Russians only found it once. We've looked the past two nights. We don't see it. There was an attempt by the Berkeley radio astronomers, their SETI group. They didn't see it either. Maybe it was ET and he's just gone, gone away. You know, he's on vacation. Who knows? Or I think more likely it was probably just interference that, you know, some aircraft with radar that flew over their antenna when they were observing that particular part of the sky. That's an enormous amount of cosmic real estate. So it's only plausible to assume that some of it is inhabited. If you're going to look for it, that makes sense. But keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of false alarms along the way to making an actual detection. Will we ever make a real detection? Nobody knows the answer to that. I personally am very, rather sanguine. I think that we will, but we'll just have to wait and see.